Hi guys, it's Emma here, and today I'm going to be drawing. Um, so I have drew a, a like, couple. I'm going to draw cats from this book called Warriors. I don't know if you've read it or not, but if you have, then uh, good, because it'll make a lot more sense. Because if you don't read it, you're kind of like, what is she talking about? So I'll just try to keep it simple. I'm drawing cats that are from a book. And, um, they're, they have weird names, I guess. But, um, see, this is great. Straight and Fireheart. Those are two cats from a book. This is Blue Star, a leader of the cat group. And then, these are the young ones. They're Cinderpaw and Brackishpaw. And uh, these two teach these two how to hunt and fight and stuff like that. So, I'm going to, today I'm going to be drawing Tiger Claw. And Tiger Claw, he is kind of evil. And he's kind of the evil person of the group. And I've, this is like the drawings of the first book and the second book. So far, I'll continue, but so far I'm just doing the first book and second book. Um, so, I'm going to draw Tiger Claw today. So, I'm going to bend it down like that. And I guess we're going to have to just do it upside down right now so you might have to look at it upside down but um then I'll show you it when I, I'll turn it around so it might be kind of hard but hopefully not too hard um so what you're gonna do you're gonna get brown brown black and gray of that colors and cut brown um yeah, all the brown colors. And as you can see, I have I bought a bunch of markers. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a fun target. There's like a whole pack of them. Just then you get like a bunch of shades. So yeah, we're going to draw to So how how I do this is I'm going to go on the left side or the right side either one and then I'm going to draw just a little like just picture it as a roundish triangle like that then you're going to make a line it's going to be its head and another roundish triangle on the other side then you're going to draw down Then you're going to make that tail. That beautiful tail, see? Then, you're going to, um, yeah, now we got the body and everything. Um, so, Tiger Claw, why his name is Tiger Claw is because he has huge claws like tigers. And so, Make sure you're going to draw two lines down like that, making the paws, and then you're going to do just like a little round thing right there, like that. Then you're going to do the claws. You can do it any way you want. I mean, this is not your drawing, or this is not my drawing, it's your drawing. So you can do it any way you want. I don't care, I just want to show you the basics. So you can do those claws. They can be big, they can be small, small, any kind of claws. Like that. So, there you go. See, we got this big claw. Now it's going to do another line, like that. Making the paws. And a big claw. Yeah, you want those big claws, you want the tiny claws. So you got that. 
<clears throat> now, you're gonna do for the ears, just do a little bit like that. Like just an outline. Like that. So, once you got the basics, now we're gonna do the eyes. Since this character is kind of evil, you, you don't have to make it evil. But this character is evil for me, so I'm going to make those eyes a little bit more serious. Tiger Claw is a male, so just to know, he has amber eyes if you want to like do it just like me. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, I need that back. Then you want to make a little line, like two lines in between. That would be the color of the eye. Then you're going to do a little black. Just a little, a teeny little bit black. Then you're going to leave a teeny little white circle um, in the middle of the black space. So it looks realistic. Because you know, if you have those lights, you know, all animals have those like little white flecks in their eyes. That's the light reflecting off, so it looks more realistic when you do that light. So then you're going to, since mine looks serious, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to make like serious eyebrows. Then he has amber eyes. So I'm going to get that like amberish color. Color it in. Or brown, you can do either. That. Then you're going to do the other one. And it's just basically like a fat almond. You're going to make two fat almonds, okay? And you're going to make the two lines, like I told you. Then, um, you're going to get the black. Color it in. Need that little white space like that. Then you're gonna color it the two lines. That is basically the color of the eye. Amberish. You don't have to do amber. You can do blue. Any any color. I mean, like I said before, it's your cat, not mine. I'm just t teaching you how to draw a cat. So you're gonna do those eyebrows if you want. If you like want to look serious. Now, um. You're gonna, the mouth, is, it, I find it always hard to do. So you're gonna listen really closely. So you're gonna make two circles, just like that. Two circles, just like right next to each other. Just two big circles, like that. Now, you're gonna do one, two, three, a, a row, three dots and a row of three, one, two, three, dots on the circles, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, see, then you're going to do the chin, which is basically, see that little crack on the bottom right there, well, you're going to just do a little loop, like that, that would be the chin, and you can do teeth if you want. I do teeth sometimes. Then, um, let's have the black nose. There we go. Look serious now. Okay. So you got the mouth. Now the whiskers. So just these are the little the dots are the little whisker things that you see on a cat. So you're gonna do a whisker connected to the dot so it looks like that, like that, and it doesn't have to be all the dots, just a few, one, two, three, okay, you're going to do the nose, a little bit bigger, if you want, okay, so, got that, now you're going to do, um, I did, I'm, I'm kind of dumb, I did this in brown, I traced in brown, but you shouldn't do that. So, I'd trace over it with black, like that. Trace 
is the tail. It's just the tail just is like a swirly line. So that tail I find it easy. And then just trace over everything you drew so far. Do this claws, trace over this claws. That. Then the eyes you need to trace over too. Okay. Now that you've traced everything over black, you're gonna color it in now. This is my favorite part. So you're gonna get your brown, any shade of brown, um, colored in. I have plenty of shades of brown, so I can do a couple brown. So you're just gonna scribble lightly. Um, why I scribble? It looks more like fur. And j just scribble. You don't need to do it hard, but just scribble lightly. Um, on the cat. So it's starting to look like fur, right? And you're gonna just don't try to draw just try not to draw on the eyes and the mouth and the mouth part just keep trying to draw the main body like what I'm doing And I have smelly markers. Some of them are smelly. Mmm, smells like a oh, burnt marshmallow. Yum. I love burnt marshmallow. Mmm. Okay. Keep scribbling it in. Just like that. Try not to get the eyes. There you go. And, yeah, so, that's how you do it. That's the first shade. Now, you can just color it all brown if you don't have shades of brown, but I like mm, different shades. Ooh, I am naughty. I have a chocolate smelling marker. Ooh, and I'm so, so naughty. So, 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 so naughty. As cinnamon and chocolate. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so you're gonna scribble it in again. Um, I'm gonna just keep doing the chocolate, I guess. And scribble in the white of this first scribble. Going to color in all the white. Like that. Try not to leave any white space. that and who loves cats I love them I have a pet cat that's not here with me right now but I can show I probably will show it to you show her to you at the end of the video it'll be like a little exciting end to give you a reward to see my cute cat Okay, now that you've colored in all the white spaces, just make sure you've colored in all the white spaces, like that, 
I mean, you can leave white spaces if you want, but this is just how I'm drawing it. Remember, don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Um, in fact, you probably will draw it better than me. So, and also, just a reminder, um, like, I, I might not draw as good as maybe you can, like, I'm only nine years old, okay, so, um, please just don't, like, you know, don't put pressure on me, because this is the very best I can draw, um, maybe I can draw a little better, but please no bad comments, because I'm trying my best to demonstrate, so, um, yeah, thank you, thank you for understanding. Um, now you're gonna get the black. See, the black, you don't have to, but I'm, what I'm gonna do, the, the colors are mild. You can do any color you want, blue or pink, but I'm keeping it like real colors. So, I'm gonna put some black stripes on Tiger Claw, because that's what Tiger Claw looks like. like black stripes um like that there you go see like that now you can draw some yeah, black stripes are here. Do some black stripes right over here. Put the black stripes anywhere. Yeah. This is a very mild thing to do. You don't have to do it. Do it any color you want. I mean, any. It's your cat. Beautiful cat. And maybe, if you want, you can make a video of how you drew your cat, and I, I would love to see it. Um, I would love to see how you drew your cat. It would be amazing. It would be awesome. Because I'd feel very happy that I am inspiring people. So, yeah, you got those lines. Black lines everywhere. Make sure those whiskers are showing up. Um, and now you're going to do stripes to the tail. I'm going to color the rest in brown. You don't have to, but I'm going to do that. There we go. Now you're gonna pick a shade of brown, or just pick your brown, and you're gonna scribble it all in. What I love about drawing outside the lines is just you feel free. You don't have you don't feel scared and like oh it's sucked in. You just feel free, and I really like that free feeling. I feel like there's no mistake. There's no such thing as a mistake, and you can just. Scribble over it. Do what you want. Color outside the lines. And a lot of young kids do that. They love to just do it outside the lines. Who cares? Like, I've been watching two-year-olds scribble in colors. Bla like, they never color inside the lines. They're just like, crazy! Scribble all over the place. And they have that still have that young, free feeling, where, uh, I don't care, it looks beautiful anyways, I don't need to do it perfect, and I think, um, two-year-old, two-year-old, 
two-year-old drawing are actually wise, but many people think, oh, they're just so young, they don't understand coloring the lines and how to do it, but I think they're just like, who cares, it looks beautiful, just how it is. Okay, so you colored in that, make that tiger look all pretty, or that, now, you gotta do the background, okay? So the background, any color, pick a green, do whatever. Um, I'm gonna just do grass, green grass. You'll have to do green grass, I'm gonna do it. There's some green grass now. Maybe, how about a bird? I like a bird flying in the distance. It's not my best bird, of course, but it's a bird. There's a bird in the sky. Okay, so that's ooh. Um, if you want, you don't have to do this, but um, I'm gonna color in the mouth. You can color it in any color. I'm gonna do a light shade, like a grayish brown. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you paw. Man, he's looking good. And I'm gonna draw cursor. And if you don't know what it says, it says tiger claw. Tiger. Tiger claw. Okay. Whew, that was a lot of work, but it turned out amazing. Thank you guys for doing this with me. Beautiful. I love it. Amazing. Look at how it turned out. It's just beautiful. And that yours looks amazing, too. Thank you, guys. So that was Tiger Claw, and I'll see you soon. That was how to draw. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to show you Willow before I go. Silly me. Okay, hold up. I bet you'll come out for, for food. Where's the food? You said you'd bring me food. Where is it? 
<laughs> there is my cute cat. Oh, I love you too, Willow. Say goodbye. I say goodbye and she does too. Bye. Wait. You need to say goodbye, Willow. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the camera. Come on. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs>